racetrack. I don't know if we can get it on film or not. It's about about that big. Coming <laughs> right down the same place we were walking here with the horses. Pretty cool. Wow, we've made it. Rodney and I are fixing to embark on an adventure that uh, we want to share with everyone that watches Bent Bow Outdoor Productions. We want to bring to you much more than a bow hunting video on this adventure. Because you see, Rodney and I have dreamed about hunting mountain goat in the wilds somewhere like British Columbia ever since we were kids. We talked about coming here and climbing these mountains and accepting the challenges that would lie ahead to try to achieve a goal. We'd look at mountain goat pictures, we'd look at that white beast, the color of snow, high up in its environment, high up on a pinnacle somewhere, <laughs> totally protected from its predators and the game that's after it. Could you see the mountain goat? He lives no, he thrives by making his predators quit. So there can't be any quit in you when you embark on an adventure like this. At 66 years of age, Rodney and I both knew that it was gonna be quite a challenge to, uh, to chase that critter, to chase that goal. But we chose it, we accepted it, and now we're here. On this trip, we rode miles by horseback to get even close to the mountain goat and his country, his terrain, the area that he presides over. And then we'd have to climb. Boy, <laughs> we would have to climb. And in climbing, both of us realized that at times you feel like you could go no farther. Everything within you cried, quit. Everything would scream, your muscles, your tendons, your joints. You're gasping for air and you would struggle higher and higher, trying to reach the top. Because you see, you had to get to the top in order to have a chance at a mountain goat. Getting above him would be the key in being able to, to harvest or have a chance at harvesting an animal. We both knew that. And the human nature was just to, just to give it up. This is too hard. <sighs> there's, there's not enough gas in me. I can't make it. The pain is too great. So like I said, you would, your body would just scream, quit. But there can't be any quit in you. You have to keep going. You have to keep one foot pushing ahead of another. I found it easier sometimes, rather than to focus on the top, would be just to look at my feet. So we'd watch our feet as we'd climb, and we'd just take it one step at a time, always angling toward the top, and it seemed to make it somewhat easier. The bows were for us. The camera gear <laughs> was for you guys. The ascent was especially long and treacherous each attempt at getting above the mountain goat. It was funny to me that sometimes during the most difficult parts of the ascent, which usually occurred in a, in a ravine of some type that angled toward the top, along that, that ravine, usually on one side or other, sometimes both, there would grow this stunted fur. And sometimes at the peak of exhaustion for me, and probably for Rodney too, as he could attest, would the branches of that stunted fir would loom ahead and be in just the right position for, for us to reach out and grab a hold of that, that limb and those, that fir tree and pull 
ourselves up. It was like a helping hand, always at the right spot, always at the right time. And we both used it. And we used it at times and we hadn't even talked about it. We talked about it later. And it would give us just enough of an, ass an assist to get us over the edge, over the hump a little bit, so to speak, and to enable us to, to continue to climb. Many times during our ascent towards the top, Rodney would be an encouragement to me, or I would be an encouragement to Rodney. So you see, even though we're making that trek alone, we're bringing others along with us. We're bringing our family, our friends. Sometimes they need that word of encouragement to keep going forward. Sometimes just that right thing that you say at the right time makes all the difference. We need to think about that. And then keep pushing onward, keep pushing upward, never realizing that following God's plan for your life, there's a prize at the end. A prize far greater than any of us can ever imagine. So I encourage you in this life, as you climb your mountain, go in the direction that God wants you to go. Don't quit, keep climbing. Be an encouragement to others. And God will assist you, just as he did with those branches of the stunted fir, at the right place at the right time, just like the hand of God, reaching down, Stunted fur doesn't reach out on its own toward you. You have to reach out toward it. Grab a hold. Make sure it's the green, living, stunted fur that you get a hold of, not the dead ones that can break away and cause you to fall. Use the help. Use the helping hand of God on your climb. You'll reach the top. I'm sure of it. God bless you. Enjoy the video. What do you think? Well, I think his, his horns look like they're, they're, they're fairly short, but they're really, really thick bases. And then the, and he looks like he's probably an older goat because the, the horn sacks are on there are really dark. You can see them real easy even from this, this far away. Oh, he actually looks like he's, he's, a, he's a good old goat. Okay, old goat is fine, buddy. Old big, is fine. Big body. That's fine. The big, big bases, yeah. That's great. Horns, That's what we're looking for. See if we can work our way up here, stay stay behind these rocks over here, and we'll have cover. I think we'll be able to get up above in there, and work okay. our way down to okay. get them over nature somewhere. Fantastic. The wind looks like it's coming straight uphill, so we should have the wind in our favor. Yeah. The climb to get above the goat was incredibly steep and difficult. Keeping the wind in our favor proved challenging in itself. What you are about to see is in real time, filmed just the way it happened. How could a white goat just disappear? And you know he's close somewhere.
There's not anything on the mountain with white hair except a mountain goat. So I took my hat off just in case he looked my way, hoping seeing some white hair may have a calming effect. As I eased up, I could see my goat bedded a little over 20 yards away. As I waited, he came to his feet, exposing his vitals, and I took my shot. Got him. Yes, got him. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. God is good. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. My gosh, look at that hair. Oh, he's gorgeous. Look at that, big leggings. He's gorgeous. Oh, he is solid. He is solid. What do you figure that would weigh, Ron? I bet he's close to 300. Close to 300? He's a, he's a big old goat. He's oh like my gosh. Get his head over here. He's like a buffalo. Big around him. Oh are. my he's, gosh. He's, let's see. One, two, ten, he's 10 years old. He's a 10 year old Billy. What a, oh, what a beauty. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try to keep him crying here. Holy mackerel! That's, that's Look at this. Big body. It's he's oh, Brome is incredible. Yeah, that's a, that's a good oh my one. gosh! Oh my gosh! He's beautiful. Even his head's heavy. I didn't realize they were this big. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, right there. I want to see. Okay. His horns there. Uh, let me put his head over here. Oh my gosh! Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, just shoot away, different angles. All right, go ahead, turn his head down a little bit. There you go. And rugged country it is. I'm hoping you can see some of this stuff behind me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What a fabulous hunt Rodney and I have been on in British Columbia. As you can see, this is truly a dream come true for me. It's been a lifelong dream of mine and Rodney's to get into this high country, this beautiful, beautiful alpine, rugged mountain goat country of British Columbia and be able to hunt mountain goats with their bow. We've talked about it since, since we were kids and uh, we have made it become a reality. More importantly, God has made it become a reality and I give him all the credit and all the glory for all of this, all that we've done on this hunt I give him the credit for it. We're just participants in this, but I am so glad to be a participant. God is good.
fire. The next morning, we sampled the fresh goat meat by barbecuing some over an open fire. Best breakfast I ever had. Even though our adventure in BC is over, our encouragement to those we met there will hopefully continue long after we are gone. Head out.